So today I'm uh, rapping. Rapping, not rapping as in the singing or the music, but rapping bales of uh, rice that's gonna be used for cow food. I lost my voice a little bit last night singing. I went to uh, uh, Filipino Snack, which I think I have a video up there Maybe with my other videos on it, but so yeah, my voice is there. But, anyway. uh, but I'll tell you, the annoying thing is this, is that communication. Like my manager doesn't speak English and I really don't speak a lot of Japanese, so he's like, you must leave at two o'clock and go back. So I rush back to the office and then I call him like, I'm here. And he goes, you gotta go back. Go back. So yeah, more squishy, uh, more squishy, like a little more time. So now I'm headed back, which is a 30 minute drive, back out to where I was to wrap. Ugh. It's insane. So I just got a call from uh, I got, uh, Kitanaga. He's like, uh, where are you? I said, I'm going back to the wrap machine. Why? Well, you told me to go back, huh? I was at work. I went to the. I went to our office. I called you. You said go back. Uh huh? I said, well, where do you want me? At the office. So now I'm going back. Crazy. So, gosh, it would make a great series. Um, having foreigners like myself trying to be a fucking rice farmer because I just uh, busted open two bags by pulling the truck too close to the sacks and there's a little metal guard snagged it so now I'm headed back to fix this massive issue. Yeah, it dawns on me. I make all my mistakes when I'm in a rush. It's so important not to rush. Take a breath, take your time. Um, you know, I was rushing back to catch up and I busted off the mirror. Um, I was rushing to get the, the sacks off the truck and I busted off another mirror with the forklift, not with a tree. Um, it's just like whenever you're in a rush, you just don't, you know, you gotta, it's just gotta be you goody, you goody, which means slowly, slowly. It's fine, it makes two sense. So this is the mess. This one we're going to patch up <laughs> with a wrap. Gotta pick that up. This bag is fucked because the hole's in the very bottom. And um, one thing we could try to do is scoot a bag under it. But I may try to do that with a forklift once we move this bag out. But I gotta pick up all this rice here and put it into here. The puzzle here is how do I how do I not have to manually load this rice in there? And here's the hit, here's what I'm going to do is I'm going to basically move this over, pick this up, slide it, and then pick it up and put it over this bag. Um, and hopefully, I can get the rice going in here. Because I'm only because I'm only one guy, it's hard for me to film this. Probably can't. So you're gonna have to miss out. See how it show, ends up. But if this was a TV show. You could, hell, you can have camera guys watching this stuff. Okay, so you can see I was able to do it. So I, I transferred a bunch into here, about half of it into here. And then when it got light enough, I was able to slowly scoot it over, you know, basically gliding it on this thing where the hole was. So I got it in there, now this bag's bigger. So now I can pick it up and put it around this one. There you go. Can't say farming isn't full of challenges. And the final step is I got the bag. <laughs> so now let's tidy up this little bit here. And I'm waiting for him with the big truck. 